Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the Cornerstone Builder. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at a bit of an advanced feature here, which is the Dynamic Content API. Within Cornerstone, you are able to turn virtually anything into dynamic content that can then be utilized in your builds. So in our example here, as you can see, we have a blog post article. And if I were to save this and view this on the front end of the site, you'll see that it is a decently long article. Now, what if I I wanted to put a read time in here. Well, if I jump into my blog layout and right next to blog post here, maybe we want to add something like read time and then put a time frame in here. But if I search in my dynamic content for read time, I don't really see anything that I can tap into. And this is just one example, but there might be many different custom things that you want to tap into on your site. In our case, we want to tap into read time. So how are we going to go about doing this? Now, if I were to hop over to the theme code docs, you'll notice that there's an entire section dedicated to the dynamic content API. And this basically explains how you add your own dynamic content, how you render that content on the front end, how you categorize that content and so on and so forth. Now, one of the things you'll notice inside of the documentation is this sample class here, which comes in really useful for using this as a boilerplate and customizing your own. Now you could feed something like this to chat GPT or code it yourself using this as your baseline. Now, I already have something set up for the sake of time, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into our theme editor. So let's jump into the back end of WordPress and go to our theme file editor. Now, as always, you wanna make sure that you are working within a child theme when you're doing something like this here, and we'll go into our functions.php. Now, inside of here, we are going to paste our custom dynamic content. And as you'll notice, we are establishing that this is our read time dynamic content, and then we are defining finding the group name that's going to be used for this dynamic content. So we're just going to call this custom dynamic content. And then we're going to set up our method that connects our custom group to cornerstone. So that is this static public function setup, add filter CS dynamic content, calculated read times, and then we have add action dynamic content setup, and we are registering that inside of cornerstone. This section here then registers the dynamic content group and its fields in the Cornerstone Builder UI so that we can actually access this. And then down here, we have the field itself, reading time being added to this group with the label reading time and some additional keys of minutes, number and label. Now, below that, we have this public function that actually handles the read time calculation. And this could be whatever you are trying to handle. You'll notice that I have this reading at a speed of 200 words per minute. The results are in minutes. And I think everything else is looking pretty good here. So we're gonna go ahead and click update file. Now, with that done, let's jump back into our blog layout here. We'll go ahead and save what we were working on there. And now let's go ahead and refresh the Cornerstone Builder so that it's pulling in the latest dynamic content. Now let's click on our read time headline here, jump into the text editor, open up our dynamic content, and right away, you'll notice we now have this custom group of custom dynamic content. Again, that could have been titled whatever we wanted it to be. And you'll notice the field that we registered with the name reading time. If I wanted to, I could jump back into here. And instead of that field being named reading time, I could come in here and call this read time. Then I could update that, jump into Cornerstone, refresh what we were working on here, open up the text that we were working on, and you'll notice that it has now changed to read time. So you'll see how our code on the back end is affecting dynamic content via that dynamic content API. So we'll go ahead and place our read time in here, and you'll notice it is automatically using our formatting for dynamic content. We have our double curly brackets, DC, custom dynamic content, which is our group, and then reading underscore time was the field key that we were using. And you'll notice that it says three. We know that this is being calculated in minutes, so we'll put minutes at the end of that. And now we have read time set to three minutes. Now, let's say that we wanted to change our read time calculation. We wanted to slow this down a little bit. We could jump back into our theme file editor and where we have our 200 words per minute, let's go ahead and just change this to something arbitrary like 50 words per minute. And we'll go ahead and click update. And now anywhere throughout the site where we have our read time calculation, currently it says three minutes because this is still basing it off of the 200 words per minute. But if I were to open this in a new tab and view the front end, it now says that this read 
time is 11 minutes based on that 50 words per minute calculation. Now again, this is simply looking at read time calculations, but the sky is truly the limit and this will open up a whole new world of possibilities for your site builds within Cornerstone. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. I look forward to seeing how you guys implement this in your builds and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.